After EICMA and a bunch of other motorcycle heavy exhibitions all over the world, we'd like to kick off a news marathon that will highlight the most important product announcements from the world of electrified two-wheelers and the zero emissions rideables. Let's get started. Grip Motors G1S and G1X Previously known as a developer of high-quality electric dirt bikes, the German-based Grit Motors has presented its revised model range at the latest Milan Motor Show. Trying to get the attention of a wider audience, the brand's new creation is offered in the G1S Street and G1X Scrambler variations. Designed for urban convenience and rugged trails, respectively, both are lightweight, sport a battery-swapping architecture, are trimmed with high-quality materials, and boast digital features with 4G and 5G connectivity. The street version weighs about 280 pounds with a pair of 3 kilowatt-hour batteries on board. These can last for about 90 miles and need 3.2 hours to be replenished. They power a radial flux motor with 11 kilowatts of nominal and 26.6 kilowatts of peak output. These figures translate to an 80 mile per hour top speed. The Scrambler variation gets a 32 inch seat height, a windshield, grip guards, mud flaps, and spoked rims with 17 inch knobby tires. Hush Cycle Superior GT Power of a superbike and comfort of a sizable Grand Tour This is the main objective that the Switzerland-based Hush Cycles wanted to achieve. Their upcoming Superior GT sports a stout build with dual-tone bodywork, a small windshield, a large headlight with an intricate pattern, and a revolutionary hubless motor in the rear wheel. Starting production with just 300 units, the Superior GT adapts a monstrous 147 kilowatt powertrain to everyday applications. Even though its creators haven't released the full battery specifications, they're targeting the 125 mile per hour top speed and a 2.5 second time for the 0 to 60 sprint. The range estimations are at 248 miles and the 25 minute fast charging is supported too. To guarantee everyday practicality, there's a 50-liter underseat storage and a passenger backrest that could be stowed away if needed. Mayving RM2 Year after year, the British Marquis is building on the success of its hit model. Last year, they gave this retro bike more power. While this year, the updates concerned passenger space. Besides being suited for riding two up, the long bench seat improves its utilitarian potential with mounts for an optional luggage rack and a top case. The faux fuel storage tank remains standard. As before, this 320-pound machine is riding on 19-inch wire spoke wheel and is suspended by a 37mm fork and preload adjustable rear shocks. Just like RM1S, the power comes from a 7.2 kilowatt rear hub motor with three performance settings. The sport mode unleashes 11 kilowatts of peak output, unlocking the 70 mile per hour top speed. The echo mode is developed to maximize the range from a 5.4 kilowatt hour dual battery setup. Zero Lumpico Today, Zero still keeps the crown of the most advanced and popular electric motorcycle manufacturer. Unlike five years ago, they're facing more mature competition, both domestically and internationally. With this in mind, the brand wants to remain competitive by expanding to new markets, namely e-scooters and dirt bikes, as well as reimagining its current offerings. The latter is going to be achieved by the all-new Cypher 4 operating system, previewed by the Lumpico concept. According to the official press release, the Lumpico boasts a lighter frame, is suspended by a premium shock setup, utilizes advanced TSC and ABS systems, and most importantly, uses predictive diagnostics to improve the charging process. 
The bike's equipped with a 30 kilowatt e-motor and an 8.8 kilowatt hour battery, which will supposedly restore 80% of charge in a mere 60 minutes. Livewire S4 Honcho With one of the most varied electric motorcycle lineups on the American market, the Livewire decided to take a breather this year and have some fun. For this year's Milan Motor Show, they brought two special editions of the S2 Alpinista motorcycle and an all-new minibike. The S4 Honcho is a zero-emission replacement of the 125cc pit bikes, well-suited for dirt trail explorations during overlanding trips, running errands around the property, or just popping wheelies in the neighborhood. This new Livewire is a pocket-sized joy machine. Scheduled for production in early 2026, the bike will be offered in both off-road and road-legal variations. The former can be distinguished by a more rugged build with knobby tires and lifted suspension. However, the latter gets mirrors and a proper lighting setup. Finally, let's not forget about a strategic collaboration with Kemco. Trevor Motorcycles Vince The Belgian Trevor Motorcycles, known for making lightweight, minimalist e-bikes, announced their second model, called the Vince. The model debuts with scrambler aesthetics, a blacked-out body with an upright seating position, and wide handlebars. Targeting riders who want to combine urban commuting with occasional off-road getaways, the Vince uses an 11-kilowatt motor and a 5-kilowatt-hour battery pack. The motor peaks at 22 kilowatts, transferring its output through a Gates belt drive and promising upwards of 60 miles of whisper quiet rides. Ultraviolet Shockwave The Shockwave wants to become a zero emission replacement for traditional two stroke models. It features 19-inch front and 17-inch rear-spoked wheels, dual-channel ABS, a four-level traction control, and either a single or a dual-seat setup. The powertrain provides six levels of regen and produces 10 kilowatts of output. This is more than enough for this 264-pound bike to reach 75 miles per hour. Among styling options, we'd like to highlight two color schemes with contrasting decals and a choice between a single and a dual seat. The bike is currently undergoing final preparations and is set for a market debut in the upcoming years. It's estimated to arrive at a price in the $2,000 to $3,000 range. However, its availability on the international scale remains undecided. Famil EXF This motorcycle brand from Portugal is trying to celebrate its legacy by reimagining its iconic model with a zero-emission powertrain. The lightweight two-wheeler is offered in two design variations, Classic and Cafe Racer. The newcomer embraces its heritage and keeps most of the visual elements close to the original. Instead of the 125cc engine, you get a 5.5 kilowatt mid-drive unit. It's hooked up to a pair of removable batteries, 2.5 kilowatt hours each. Such a powertrain setup enables 60 mile per hour speeds. The EXF weighs 265 pounds with batteries and lasts for about 75 miles. The complete recharging cycle is said to last from 4 to 5 hours. Flying Flea S6 Despite keeping most of the technical features behind a curtain of mystery, Royal Enfield's new electrified division is already working on the second model. The upcoming Flying Flea S6 is targeting fans of scrambler bike style. However, we have to admit that this lightweight model will only be able to handle light off-roading. 
With a dedicated setting for the motor, 19-inch front and 18-inch rear spoked wheels, dual sport tires, long travel suspension, and switchable ABS, the newcomer should be able to handle most mixed terrain conditions. The rugged build couldn't keep this model from obtaining a series of modern features like a round instrument cluster connected to your phone with Bluetooth, OTA updates, and voice assist powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.